final question. Oh, here we go, guys. Third and final question. Okay. Brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped in the pieces with an axe. Torn flesh, smashed bones, splattered blood. What a Ooh. terrible tragedy. What a gruesome end to such innocent lives. One of the victims was a local boy named Billy Locaine. But what was the name of the other victim? Oh no. Billy's sister. One, Miriam. Miriam sounds Two, familiar. Heather. Three. I think it was Miriam. Julia. Well. So it's three. The combination is three something one. I don't know what street it was, but I think it's three something one. That's the last of our questions. Have you got it all figured out? If so, fantastic. The time will soon come to collect your prizes. But be careful. If you're wrong, well, looks like that's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. See you somewhere, sometime, in sickness or in health. Bye-bye. What the hell was that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what... It, it Would it be... It's three something... One, I believe. Because I think that the name was Miriam Locaine, if I remember correctly. I don't remember Julia Locaine. I remember reading a document that said Miriam, I think. But, I have no idea about the road, so I'm going to have to guess whenever this happens. Well, someone just did a $10 super chat asking me what I think about the game. Sadly, I, I don't think I should even read their name because no lie, that name, if I were to read it, people could take it out of context and say, oh, you see what Phil said on his stream? I'm serious. I wish that, that the world wasn't like that, but I can't read your name, but thanks for the $10 super chat. I said, how are you liking Silent Hill? Uh, I'm liking it a ton. I'm absolutely loving the game. It's outstanding. The walls. the bullets. I have no idea what just hit me. Definitely use that. Please, ammo, please, yes, please. That's true on on kick, right? On kick. If I read that out, people would would either take it as a joke and understand people that someone's trying to get me, or it wouldn't be a big deal at all. But Sadly, what happens is my detractors take that out of context and they don't post it up on Kick. They post it on YouTube. They post it on Twitter. And they're like, see what Phil said? See what Phil said? I'm like, uh, no, I didn't actually say that. You've taken something completely out of context and misrepresented it. And now you're trying to make me look like a villain. And they do this all the time. Oh. <laughs> they just did it recently. They just did it recently, so about... It was about two weeks ago, okay? On my react show, DSP versus the Internet, the premise of the show is that... By the way, I have to close the window because uh, the landscapers are out there. Hold on. I have to close it really loud, and then I'll open it in a minute. Close it, Jasper. Yeah, so 
a, a few weeks ago, uh, or a couple weeks, it was like two weeks ago, on my react show, DSP versus the internet, it's a clip show where my viewers submit clips and I react to them, okay? And I never know what the clips are gonna be. Like, I legit don't know what I'm about to watch. They're always first time reactions. So I'm watching this clip someone submitted and it's a, one, a, a VTuber playing Street Fighter VI and the VTuber, I guess, is fighting someone else they know. I didn't understand the context of the clip. And the VTuber gets all excited and starts like yelling and screaming really high pitch at the top of their lungs. How excited they are that they're playing someone they know. And I watched the clip for a while. I think I watched it for like a minute or two. I, you know, the, I'm watching the gameplay and it's like, it's all right. They're not a top player, but they're all certainly not awful either. And I really don't say that much. And then basically this VTuber continues to scream. All right. And it was really loud and high pitched and annoying. And I literally just said, I'm sorry, guys, but I, we watched enough of the clip. You know, I can't go, take it anymore. The person's screaming too much. It's actually like, giving me a headache. Uh, you know, I wish that they wouldn't scream as loud, but they're screaming, so I'm not going to watch anymore. And that was literally it. That was the end of it. I didn't say a word negative about them being a VTuber. I didn't actually say a word negative about their gameplay level. Nothing. Nothing at all. My detractors clipped it and reposted it everywhere. And, and basically, they would very falsely name it. DSP insults VTubers, says that they're all high-pitched screeching, you know. So they basically re rephrased it in a way that's not true at all. Like, I would have reacted that way if it were anywhere else screaming too. If it was some dude just screaming at the top of his lungs and it was loud and hurting my ears, I also would have called it out. It had nothing to do with the fact that they were a VTuber. It wasn't me being, like, prejudiced against VTubers. It was someone is screaming loud and it's annoying me, it's hurting my ears. I'm not gonna subject myself to that and keep watching it, right? But they literally posted it all over Twitter and everything. And then I got people actually contacting me, Phil, you really screwed up. The VTuber community's angry with you. I'm like, what? I don't have the, let me get this straight. I don't have the ability to say someone is talking too loud. What? I don't? I can't just do a factual observation. This person's talking too loud. It's annoying, I wanna move on. I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. According to my detractors in the internet, that's not allowed, right? What? No, I can fucking say whatever the fuck I want. I can say, I just like anyone else, right? I can comment and crit critique. That's the point of the clip show, is for me to react to clips and see how I would react, you know? Like, what? So you're telling me I gotta do clips so I can't ever be honest that I think someone's talking too loud? I got people coming after me for that shit. I'm serious. And then I got people who were like, oh, you know, you know, I, I heard, you know, I'm, I'm asking uh, people all over the place, you know, for interviews and stuff, right? And basically I got someone who just, who's like, yeah, so I heard that you really like crapped on VTubers. So I don't know if I want to do an interview with you because it sounds like you're a toxic person. I'm like, what? I didn't crap on VTubers. It literally didn't happen. I, all I said was someone was talking too loud and I didn't want to watch the rest of the clip because they were too loud. How am I crapping on VTubers? You see what I'm saying? This is how it begins. The mass misinformation that DSP is a horrible person, right? Nice, I backed away before he exploded. Very nice. So yeah, you know, I mean, that's, that's the life I live. Is that anything I say will literally be taken completely out of context on purpose by someone, spun to be something it's not, and then legit people on the internet who don't know me think it's all true and just take it at face value and think I'm a villain, you know? And that's fucked up. So I'm not allowed to give an opinion on anything because the moment that I give my opinion, I'm a, I'm a horrible person, a villain trying to hurt everyone around me. Uh, no, go fuck yourself if you believe that, really. Just go fuck yourself. If, I mean, seriously, what it is is people on the internet are just too lazy to do 10 seconds of research to figure out the reality. They just all want to believe the negative toxic shit. And that's a bad mentality to have because at any moment, someone on the internet could do that to you. And then you are the villain. And now you're the asshole. So stop. You know, people are too fucking gullible to believe this dumb shit. I can't believe that people believe that stuff. Seriously, like, are you out of your mind? Did you watch the clip? Did you actually see what happened? Or did you just believe what a detractor titled the clip as? Like, that's really, really ignorant and harmful. Because if you do that and you just 
blank blanket believe the shit that you hear that's that's that kind of negative slanderous stuff now people will get hurt because of it you know what i'm saying He's a moron. Get this guy out of here. He says, apologize to the VTuber community. I didn't do anything to the VTuber community. I literally, my comment has nothing to do with the person being a VTuber. It has to do with their, their voice being too loud and obnoxious in a video and it hurt my ears. I'm not allowed to be honest. Sorry, in every video I watch, I'm not going to kiss someone's butt. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, that's what I gotta go through every day. So that's why I can't read this guy's name who did a super chat. Because God forbid I read it and people are like, See? Feels racist and this and that. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Right? <sighs> We're in a new area. Yep, what's this? The dark room, look. The dark basement room. Okay, we gotta go this way. Fall through there. I just want to make sure there's no other item in here. Before we do that. I don't see anything, right? Oh, there's different ways to go. What happens if I go in that hole? Because I could go other rooms here. That's weird because it looks like that's going to take you out of the room. You're going to go somewhere else. Yeah, see, you're going to go up. So I don't know if I want to do that yet. I want to see what else is down here. Anything. Elevator ain't gonna work. We know that. Maybe there is nothing else down here. I guess that's the idea. There is nothing else down here. It's all dead end, so you have to go through that hole. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that shit pisses me off. Can you imagine that? Here I am. I'm trying to line up interesting interviews for my show. Oh, I found a ring. That's what you need. Oh, look who it is. Thanks. What the hell? Mary. Comes out of nowhere. Oh. Maria, I thought. Sorry. Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? Anyway. I was almost <laughs> killed back there. I have never been so scared in my whole life. All you care about is that dead wife of yours. Whoa! You couldn't care less about me, could you? No, I just... Have and stay with me. Don't leave me alone again. You're supposed to take care of me. I... So what about Laura? You found her? Yeah, but she ran away. What? Well, we have to find her. Yeah, you, uh... You really seem to care about that girl. Uh-huh. Do you know her? I... I'd never met her before. I just feel sorry for her. She's all alone and... I don't know, for some reason I feel like it's up to me to protect her. <clears throat> Come on, let's go look for her. We got the copper ring. There's a ladder back there. You see that, right? But I guess you can't climb it. I don't know what it's for. What's the purpose of that ladder? We can't get to it. Anyway, isn't it bizarre? Like, he just met her in town, and so, for some reason he's supposed to be, like, massively attached to her or something? Like, what? <laughs> doesn't seem to make sense. I mean, she's definitely using his emotions against him. She knows she looks like his wife. The door's open now. Oh, by the way. Me, James? I'm curious. Anything changed yet?
still nothing's changed, and we're pretty far into the game at this point. Maybe nothing changes with it, but, I mean, if that was the case and nothing ever changes with it, then why would they even give it to you, right? So, I think something is gonna happen. But not yet. Nothing's happened yet. So, it's funny, because Mar this Maria is acting like, you know... You two are attached or something, when you're definitely not. I mean, you're just two people who ran into each other <coughs> at the hospital. Or, excuse me, in the town, I should say. And, I mean, I understand, you know, she wants to be protected or whatever, but... To ask that this guy comes in all gung-ho like a hero to save her every time seems like a big ask. Especially because, again, they just met, what, a couple hours ago, perhaps? Mm. And again, it seems like she's definitely taking advantage of the fact that she looks like his wife to try to, to, to hit him emotionally, right? Yeah, another syringe. I'll take ammo, please. Enough with the syringes. Enough with healing. I need damaging. What oh, boy. What the hell is that? Well, what do you know? The stroll in the rain. It's raining indoors. <laughs> Yeah, just humor me. We're in hell. Just humor me. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Out of the way. Another photo. They mustn't know. They're getting, it's getting darker and darker, these photos, right? Now, is that up 3, 73, or 13? I can't read the handwriting on these dang photos. I don't know if we're ever going to figure out what it's supposed to mean. This was the pool room. Close the door. What are you doing? Get out of the doorway. I'm stuck. Nothing here. Just destroyed showers. Oh, a nice fan. It's huge. Okay. Sounds like my wife is arriving home, so in just a moment, I'm going to be bringing Jasper Kitty downstairs, guys. Take a, a break here. Is that what I think it is? Cooler. I guess we're about to find out. All right, let's uh, let's do that. I'm gonna get Jasper out of here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what is that? First of all, I have to get my volume back up. What is that that we're staring at right now? A cooler, a coffin. It's a weird looking coffin, though. It looked more like a cooler than a coffin to me. That's why I didn't know that it was a coffin at first. It's obviously what you need to interact with because there's nothing else in the room. All right, what's in the coffin? Coffins, coffins, what's in the coffins? <clears throat> Find out. Having trouble there? Yeah. He's a weakling. You think you could give me a hand? The Me? You're supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? Uh, oh, fine. Oh, God. Hmm. What's this? Another ring. Not very cute, is it? Here, why don't you take it? Thanks. Now, how did she know he needed the ring for the puzzle? Right? Things are starting to get very suspect now. How would she have known? So, where to now? It's not... No. Okay, it's actually... A, a, a fridge full of rotten food? I thought it was a coffin. 
I think I know where those rings belong. Okay. We go there. Here? Yes. The patients will become the diagnosis scheduled for them when they'll make recovery as my aim is always for the entire personnel, especially when their symptoms will become receding with effective treatment. That makes absolutely no sense. That's not even like English, right? It's called a disassociated note. <laughs> oh, it's just like gibberish, like it's rooted wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, we can save, and we gotta figure out where we're going. We gotta get back to that door. Uh, not this floor, huh? So how do we... How will we get back to where we want to go, actually? I don't know. We gotta get to the door, but I don't remember how to get to it. Lady of the door. How do we get back there? Ugh. <laughs> Why's it gotta be so confusing? I, I honestly don't know. I think I'm just going to look around. I, I really don't know where we're supposed to be going right now. Have we been in here before? The day room? I think we have. Is this where we're supposed to be going? I don't think so. I don't know. The elevator doesn't work, or does it? It does. So can we just take the elevator? We can. Okay. There you go. Just take the elevator. Has any other character interacted with Maria other than James? No, remember? Um, she never ran into the other characters, right? Now, she knows about Laura. But she hasn't actually spoken directly to Laura or Eddie, right? Or, or what's her name? The other woman, too. I actually forgot the other woman because she, well, she didn't appear at all in my gameplay yesterday. But yeah, she hasn't spoken with any of them. All right. What is that? She's an angel no one knows. Only I can see the lady of the door. They cannot walk along her bridge or thread. They fall from the weight of their crimes. Like bloated and ugly corpses, their sin, she devours them. Sin and sinner alike, she saves me. She is an angel. James? What's wrong? Let's just get out of here, okay? Yeah, she needed rings on the fingers. Right. Ever seen a locking mechanism that needed rings on the fingers? <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you wanted to get out of here. I know. It's just... Something doesn't feel right. Come on. It's gonna be fine. And then she was immediately eaten. <laughs> what a strange sequence. What's up, Clamp Cut Ty? How are you? So, are we almost done with the hospital? I mean, we've been in here for quite some time now. I was here all last night's stream, and now this stream. It is done. Stick no more. Of course. Ominous note. Perhaps this is the way out? I don't know. Sure is a long stairwell down. Look, it keeps going. We gotta keep going down. 
Of course, every hospital has a stairway down to hell. Nice red lighting, nice and creepy. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh no. Is this where you get chased? Sure seems like it. Guess who's back? Run! I can't see him through all the effects. There! An elevator! Oh darn. Come on, hurry! Hurry up. Bye, Maria. She's done. Yep. What did you think was gonna happen? It's like, yes, no more escort missions. I hate those. <laughs> Finally. A somber few notes being played on the piano. Oh, look, I think you're back in the real world. Yeah, you are, right? I think so. Or not. The, the, the lighting's completely different, though. Is there supposed to be an elevator trivia puzzle? There might be coming up. There might be one coming up. This still hasn't changed. None of this has changed yet. I'm shocked. Thought it changes at some point. <laughs> yeah, the lighting's completely changed now. The eerie piano. Oh, a little choppy. All right, we're better now. Where are we? We're in the oh the front lobby. We haven't even been in the front lobby in the uh in the hell world yet. Right, so we should check these rooms before we leave, because we probably could just leave, but we should check all the rooms first. Yeah, see there's the exit, but let's check everything else. These uh, dungeon instances, as I like to call them in this, are pretty lengthy, right? Like, this is quite long. Like I said, we were in the hospital about 45 minutes of one stream, all of last night's stream, and now almost two hours of this stream. Well, this is completely different. Take a look outside. There was all bushes and stuff. They're all gone. You can see clearly into the street now. The potential for this illness exists in all people, and under the right circumstances, any man or woman could be driven like him to the other side. The other side perhaps may not be the best way to phrase it. After all, there is no wall between here and there. It lies on the borders where reality and unreality intersect. It is a place both close and distant. Some say it isn't even an illness. I cannot agree with them. I'm a doctor, not a philosopher, or even a psychiatrist, unlike the director. But sometimes I have to ask myself this question. It's true that to us, his imaginings are nothing but the interventions of a busy mind. But to him, there simply is no other reality. 
Furthermore, he's happy there. So why I ask myself why in the name of healing him must we drag him painfully back into the world of our own reality? Huh. The key. The hospital entrance. This is how we leave, I guess. Uh-oh. Cool. Door doesn't open? Oh, okay, it does. It's stuck. I think that's it. Now we leave, so I'll let me save one more time. Save one more time. Alright. Also, for the first time ever, there's no fog out there. It's just rain instead, so that's cool. It'll be a different environment. Okay. Let's do this. Yes, I saw that they have modded the game to not have fog. It makes it feel different. Ugh. We have like no ammo so now we're in the hell version of the town at night with rain interesting over there. <laughs> Hopefully now we'll be able to, to, to explore a bit and loot and restock because I am low on like everything, right? Two nurses here. Can we avoid fighting them and just see what's over there if there's an item? I really don't want to fight them both. There might be items there in that Ambulance. There is there not. There's an okay, there's two it's just two healing items. Okay, I don't need them. It's just two healing items. Did we? No super real vibes just told me we have hit 150 likes on the stream. Thank you guys for that. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for the engagement. This is going to be a very different feeling right now. From everything we've done up to now. Oh, of course there was an enemy hiding right there. Of course. <laughs> Okay. Else? Nope. We're very limited what we can do and where we can go. Another enemy right there. Another nurse. I'm gonna see if I can avoid enemies. Rather than fight them all, I don't see the <laughs> fighting them. Wow, she lunged. You missed. I just don't see the point in fighting everything. Unless there's a reason. What the hell? You freak. I can't even run away, they're catching me.
sure went to hell here. Holy crap, dude. This game just got really dark and a lot of enemies, and they're ramping up the difficulty now. starting to highlight in yellow to tell the ones you can walk on. Do you see that? That's kind of cool. That's a, a little thing that like observational on the map. I kind of like that. Now you're like, oh, look, walk this way. There'll be an alley here or whatever. Dirty urinal liquor just hit me a dollar. Gee, thanks a lot. Thanks very much to Dirty Urinal Liquor. I appreciate that. I mean, we're really, we're moving the needle with that dollar. <laughs> to 184. The best name ever. Okay. good stash there. So where do they actually want me to go? Advance. Not here. Not here. This way. This is where I was. This is where I just was. Confused. We came from there. That way is blah. I came through here already. It was a dead end. Oh, they got me again with this. They get me with this every time. I, I always fall for the wall to break. I don't see it right away. So how convenient it blocks you. Can't go back. There's are 14 syringes. Good lord. All right, let's save. I'm just happy, happy to not be in the hospital anymore because it was a really long segment. Okay. We're taking it to the streets. Boy, Shit. stop. It's dangerous. So, you gotta think of it this way. You remember earlier... He said, it's dangerous, you know, you could be hurt. And she was like, what would hurt me? What are you talking about? You heard her say that, right? So, perhaps everyone who's in Silent Hill sees something completely differently. To her, there are no monsters. So she has no idea what you're talking about when you're referencing danger. That's why she was like running through town like this. Not really being careful. Finally, 
she would not die. I hit her a million times and she would not die or even go down on a leg. These were all leg shots, too. So I think that's what it is. It's like people in Silent Hill, they all see it completely differently. So Laura's not seeing these monsters like he is. But she's like, I don't get it. Why would I be scared? Why would I be afraid? What are you talking about? What the? Ugh. Off the wall. Okay. A little bit of ammo there. Yep. Again, once you put it where it's supposed to be. It actually goes up like that. I'm just ignoring it. Why would I fight that? You know it can't climb this. Okay. It's a diner. What was I supposed to do? I really couldn't do anything about it. There was like seven or eight of them there. Like seven or eight enemies. Holy shit, man. That was crazy. And I just kept doing my best, but dude, like there's no safe spot. And the shotgun is pretty worthless. I'm gonna be honest. The shotgun sucks in this game. It doesn't really do extra damage at all. It's like a normal gun. Laura, stop! You know? It's dangerous! those enemies. <sighs> so I guess I gotta kill every enemy. If I don't kill them, they all follow me into the diner and murder me. I've gotta systematically kill each enemy out here in the street. That. You know, she ignores the shots. I'm definitely hitting her in the legs. Six bullets too. Yeah, seriously, the shotgun seems like crap. I think that uh, using the handgun and being precise and shooting them in the in the limbs or you know the legs to down them and then uh, kill them that way—that's the better tactic. 
My controller keeps auto vibrating by accident. It's definitely a glitch. It's not supposed to be vibrating as much as it is today. It's having some issues. So I think we have multiple enemies in here too. Oh wait, I think you can go down now. I gotta use shotgun shells. Alright. That's pretty crazy. You don't, uh, where did she come from? If you don't kill all the enemies in the streets, they come after you in here. You good now? I think that's it now, excuse me. Someone left their shopping bags. Doesn't that suck? You leave your shopping bags behind, you get screwed. The vibration finally stopped. <laughs> so maybe it's a combination of the shoddy and the swinging, right? You have to do like a half and half deal, perhaps. The shotgun is definitely not good enough. If you're killing enemies like solo, it's kind of it kind of blows. I I swear I tried to press dodge, and nothing happened. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Now, can I do anything else here? Ah, any more, any more. The door's not open, so I don't think you can get in the school bus or the truck. Or can you? Oh, look! Alright, good. I don't have any health drinks left. I have a million syringes, but no health drinks. Okay. Woo! It's definitely a ramping up in difficulty now, which is good. It should be elevating difficulty over the course of the game. I don't have a problem with it. Go. Ah, camo again. I missed, how embarrassing. Is the other 
side of the street. Okay. Another drink. Cool. The villain says, is Maria real or part of James's imagination? You don't know yet. But again, it's a good point because someone has said, has she talked to Eddie yet? Did she talk to Laura yet? No. She knew of Laura, but she did not speak directly to any other human. Or the other woman, too, who's in it. I forgot her name. She hasn't spoken to anyone else. And the fact that she looks exactly like his wife, except with dyed hair and dressing differently, obviously makes it feel kind of weird. Like, what's going on there? Is she real or not? Maybe she was never there. Maybe, maybe Pyramid Head's never been there. Right? We don't know. You just don't know yet. down this road as far as we could. See that? As far as we could. We did the whole side, so... Yoink. Another syringe. Jeez. At this point, this guy's got more syringes than, like, a junkie. Right? <laughs> the repertoire of syringes. A lot at a moment's notice. Fuck you. Because imagine this. Imagine if, if they all see different things, right? What if Laura's afraid of you? And you've basically been chasing her now through this town for a while, and she thinks you're, like, you're the risk, you're the villain. You would think you're trying to protect her, but she doesn't even know what you're talking about. Nice and dark. Finally, all the vibration... Oh, never mind. I guess the vibration stopped, but then it began again. It's a creature! Saw that? It was underneath? That was a creepy introduction to the creature. Underneath. All right, we're in a totally different part of town now. Yep. We're back to the first half of the town. In the dark. Laura? Where did she go? A save point. That's convenient. Because actually, it's the perfect time for me to split the part. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. Nope. On a map. Letter and wrench. See that? Uh, see you tomorrow, Fox. Wasn't there something I missed here before? Uh, so there was, at the Grand Market, a keypad, and we didn't have the code for it. So I was thinking, do we do it later on in the game? And now we actually are back here later in the game, so maybe this is where you get the code for the, to get into the Grand Market. Aha. Good observation. Alright, let's save up. And, uh... Continue on. We've got about another hour on today's stream. Thanks to everyone who is here chilling, enjoying, supporting, and having a great one. I'm really enjoying the game, and we continue on with more in just a moment. 